Tonight, an update to a CBS2 investigation we brought you last month about vital records like birth and death certificates stalled for months. Yeah, they're not considered essential in Cook County. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey first exposed the problem. The clerk's office pledged to look into it. Megan joins us live now at the Daily Center tonight with some good news. Megan. Right, Brad and Erica, the clerk's office is now officially re accepting requests by mail for certified birth and death certificates. Families who've been waiting for months are grateful, but they say they're still waiting to actually get those certificates in their hands. Baby Telmo was born on January 24th. And we like chewing on our hands. We don't like toys. We don't like anything. Hands only. But because of COVID-19, his mom, Ana Martin, doesn't actually have proof that he's hers. Anywhere you have to prove that, 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 that this is your child, that's the only piece of paper that proves that. So pretty much no birth certificate, no luck? No. Out of luck because the Martins spend their summers in Spain, where their entire family lives, and they can't take Telmo on a plane without a birth certificate. It's been almost three months, and that's a long time not to figure this out. Grieving families trying to obtain death certificates hit the same roadblock. This should have been the easy part, right? It should have been the easy part. It should have been very easy. And our story led to a call for answers from Cook County Board Commissioner Sean Morrison. If we're not staffing the vital records, we really need to start doing that. The vital records office here at the Daily Center is still closed to in-person services, but the office is now processing orders. Martine recently submitted a new order, but she's still shocked it's taken so long. Do you feel like birth certificates, death certificates should have been considered essential? Absolutely. And says she won't be breathing a sigh of relief until she can hold that certificate in her hands. And I really would love for his grandparents to be able to hold this guy uh, sometime soon. Now, the clerk's office says they've gotten hundreds of orders since the shutdown. We asked how many certificates can they process in a day and what are those estimated wait times? We're still waiting for a response. Somewhat baffling they're not considered vital. Uh, that said, Megan, this didn't happen elsewhere. Other counties were giving out such critically important records, so Cook County gets a, a fail here. Question, how are they going to remedy this, especially if, if we have to stay at home again? Good question, Brad. Right. The majority of the states and counties that use the vital check system, we're talking New York, D.C., L.A., they were able to continue processing, but Cook County was not. And we're actually not aware of any infrastructure changes at this time. The online portal is still down. So that's certainly something that the clerk's office is going to have to review as they continue processing these hundreds of certificates. Live in the Loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. All right, Megan, and we know you will stay on top of it. For more exclusive investigations, download our new app and look for the section called CBS2 Investigators. Search CBS Chicago wherever you get your apps.